Uh, Wizard Firebird's just strong, isn't it? Uh, oh, 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 we've got one! Yes! Done it! Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on, YouTube? It's Healthy, and we're back with another video. We've completed the ethereal checklist. We've found all 21 ethereals on Torment 16, level 70. So no snapshotting cheese or anything like that. We have actually played the characters uh, and got the weapons. So I'm going to talk about the transmog. I'm going to talk about the process, maybe give you some tips, uh, talk about how long it took and all that kind of stuff. But before we do jump in and get going, Thank you to all the support that I've had. Uh, it's been a bit of a slog. We've put 55 hours into the season, uh, and that is since Saturday because I missed the opening night because I was away. It has been a slog, but I've thoroughly enjoyed every single minute of it. Uh, it has been an awful lot of fun. Thank you to everybody in the clan. Really have helped me out with this. Discord mods, Twitch mods, anybody who has given me thumbs up on videos, comments, Anybody who has come by the Twitch stream and offered me support, whether it's gift subs, uh, just a hello, how you doing, all of it really does mean the world uh, and it has kept me going. Super excited to start with build videos after this. Uh, I just really wanted to get this done as fast as it could. Um, but yeah, before we do jump in, a like will always help me out. Uh, and if you do enjoy this game, subscribe. We're going to keep bashing these videos out uh, just as much as we can. Right, so here we are. These are all of the 21 ethereals. We found all three uh, for each class. So seven classes, 21 ethereals. Now, unfortunately, uh, we don't actually really get, <laughs> we don't really get anything other than the achievement, uh, which I think if we go to achievements, piece of strength, uh, ethereal collection, if we expand this, can we expand it? There we go. We've got all of them done. So other than getting that done, there isn't really anything. Now, what will happen is, is that next season we'll be able to, I'll be able to use any of these transmogs on my weapons because I've completed it. So if I get a fist weapon next season, I'll be able to pick one of these three, uh, you know, same for the wizard that I'll be able to put on these particular transmogs. So a little disappointing, I think I was kind of hoping, I guess I just, you know, didn't really didn't really read it all properly uh, but I thought that we would uh, be getting like some kind of really cool sick sick looking transmog skim uh, but yeah we basically get to keep these weapons like how they look you know the weapons will go at the end of the season but if we do want to put these transmogs on uh, we can do so I guess that is kind of cool um how long did this take? Uh, I've put 55 hours in, as I say. Now, realistically, I've played some support Barb. I've played some support Demon Hunter. Uh, I've put a load of hours into my monk. Um, you know, a lot more than would be necessary to do. You know, if I'd just done the three monk ethereals and then moved on. So we could have shaved that time down a lot. But bear in mind, all the time that we're putting in, we are gaining Paragon. We're gaining gem levels. We're gaining resources, uh, all of which kind of help with the process um it's very much an rng thing because some of the classes like crusader for instance i bashed out in about an hour uh, that was very fast because it just so happened that the three dropped immediately witch doctor and necro were also pretty fast some of the other ones uh like barb was very slow you know demon hunter was really slow so it, it just kind of goes the worst i've heard is about 10 hours um into the game before seeing your first one obviously i've just started the hardcore stream series we got two in the first you know 20 minutes of the stream uh it's you know it is just rng it's it's just how it goes now one thing i would say is i tried i tried a bunch of different stuff okay i tried doing where are they? Cow sticks. I tried doing a load of these uh, on Torment 16. They're not very good. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend that as a way of getting ethereals. Obviously, you can get quite a lot of materials in the cow realm, but um, you're not getting that many legendaries in there. So it, again, it not really great. Regular puzzle rings. Again, crap. Don't do them. Uh, that's a waste of time. Ancients are a different story. I I found it was about one in every four or five rifts I was getting an ethereal. Uh, now, I'm lucky because I'm in a clan, so we've got a clan here, uh, Filthy Casual YouTube, we split all our puzzle rings, 
uh, you know, whenever anyone gets one, they chuck it in the chat. Would anybody like to join me? I've done that. I've benefited from that. Uh, so, you know, a couple of the classes I got really lucky because I managed to get mine from just basically hanging out in Puzzle Ring. So if somebody said, do you need a Puzzle Ring? I'd jump on, say, Crusader or Wizard or one of the classes that wasn't quite as well geared. And that obviously would help me out. Uh, in general, obviously, you know, you want to be doing things as fast as possible because it is just a numbers game. The more items you find, the more ethereals you're going to find. The, the sooner you'll get this transmog. They also don't pop out in order, so you will get frustrated. You know, you might get these two necro ones. Um, like Barb, I, I found this Grimmer Shed about 73 billion times. Um, it took me ages to get a grandfather. It, it was rough, but we did get there. Um, yeah, so it, it is just RNG. Now, the pathway that I did, I laid out in a video, so I will link that in the description. I'll put the thumbnail on the screen as well. Um, and pretty much that is the pathway I followed. We started off with Monk. Uh, I then jumped onto Demon Hunter because they shared the same main stat. I did some ZDH. I did some Gears of Dreadlands. I then moved on to the Barb, did some Whirlwind, did some Support Barb. Then after that, I think we made Witch Doctor for T16. I didn't run any rifts on the Witch Doctor, save for the 45 uh, to get the Conquest done. Same for Necro, that was just totally T16. Uh, and again, Wizard, Crusader, we didn't run any rifts with them. Uh, we just basically key farmed, we sat in puzzle rings, um, you know, and, and that kind of stuff. So realistically, it's going to take you a bit of time. Is it worth it for these transmogs? Uh, well, that obviously is up to you. We can't, we can't even equip them this season, uh, which I do think is a bit odd. Uh, but, you know, I mean, why would you, I guess? Uh, but if you want to, oh, we can actually, there we go. I was going to say we can't, but there we go. So this is it. So I've got these transmogs. I've, maybe I had to log out because I'm sure when we did this earlier, it wasn't working. But yeah, there you go. So that's it. You, you get these transmogs forever. Um, I guess if you don't collect all the ethereals, you'll have them for this season and then you won't have them after that. Um, is it worth it? Well, that's obviously a massive for you. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's been it's been fun to do it. Uh, I'm going to make a video on how to find as many of these things as possible because again, you know, there are a few few kind of like tips and tricks that you can do. But yeah, in general, just do your keys as fast as possible. Um, yeah, again, you can kind of like gear share. So I guess I'll show you the witch doctor because that probably makes the most sense. Um, but yeah, what I did was I built out a witch doctor with stone jordan some mage fist gloves a uh syndicate just a load of fire stuff i then hopped that gear over to the necro and that allowed us to do t16 um what i would say is i would probably try and use if you know if you're finding ancient puzzle rings yourself i'd probably use those on the classes that you're the least confident with um just because obviously it's almost a bit of a waste like there's no point doing ancient puzzle rings on demon hunter barb or monk because you'll just find so many ethereals because you'll you know with with their best builds you will wreck so i tended to use the puzzle rings on the you know the harder ones like wizard which is very powerful but very slow crusader again is pretty slow in my opinion so i use them on crusader again you know i haven't fully geared up one um you know a necro and witch doctor were fine for keys you know this kind of stuff uh, and then we pretty much replicated this exact build with a few necro items uh, for necromancer but you know stone of jordan you can use on all classes legacy of dreams you can use on all classes things that are cross class like this like convention of elements uh, you know you can stick these on crusader and go and make a build you can stick them on wizard go and make a t16 build you know obviously necro um, doesn't have fire but it doesn't matter because the stone of jordan just buffs everything um so that you know again is potentially a little tip but yeah how many theories have you got how are you, how are you guys getting on with it um i've got two more accounts to do this on um i'm gonna sleep on it as to whether i think it's worth it or not um i don't know <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit anticlimactic i think actually getting to the end of it uh, i was kind of I guess I was just under the impression that we got something for like the character, but it's been really cool. This has been the most fun that we've had in ages doing a season, uh, doing a season start. And yeah, you know, obviously matching the powers is, is difficult. Uh, you know, th these are just, I've just put these here for show. There's, you know, trying to find like 
a breeze with what you want is difficult. Trying to find a uh, grandfather with what you want is difficult. So it has been fun. The loot chase is always exciting for me. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to going through it again on Hardcore. And maybe we will do the other two accounts. Um, it's just it's just been a long, hard few days. But there we go. We've done all 21 of the ethereals. Um, you can get it done. Uh, by all means, join the clan. Ask for help if you need it. Uh, good group of people in there. And yeah, that's it. Just wanted to share what we've done. I hope you're enjoying the season. Good luck in this second weekend. I'll be back with some more videos. Uh, and hopefully we can get this ethereal number up past 70 pretty soon. I've been the Filthy Casual. Enjoy your weekend. Take it easy. Peace.